All right, guys. Name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics, and today, guys, we are getting to awaken our LR Super Vegito. Yesterday, we awakened this guy right here. I do not have any dupes in this guy. However, I do have dupes in LR Super Vegito, and well, we'll get there. So let's hop in. Let's awaken this guy super quick, and then let's do a showcase of the new Batara team. And I say new because these guys changed the game just a little bit compared to Kefla. And Kefla can still be on this team, and I feel like Kefla uh, can easily be ran on this team and be pretty close to optimal. So, anyway, we're not probably going to run her today, but we will we will probably check her out soon. Let me get these guys um, leveled up to 120, and then we will awaken them to their LR state. These guys are now 120 out of 120, SA10 out of 10. You may notice their stats. You may notice that their stats are a little high. That is because I pulled two LR Super Regitos on camera, and then 100 stones later, because I was just like, I was sitting there, and I was like, sure, why not? I pulled another! So we're at sitting at 79% in the potential system right now. Six additional, 15 crit, of course, the five dodge that's built into any intelligence type. Uh, but really quick, though, again, the TUR art for both the Gogeta and the Vegito cards are some of my favorite, like, literally some of my favorite art in this whole game. This is so stupid, but anyway, it's not stupid, it's awesome. And, and not that their LR art isn't great, too, I just... That T.U. art is fantastic. Anyway, let's awaken these guys, and then let's showcase up a Tara team. All right, let's do let's do the thing. Yep, yep, yep. Dude, the new Vegito, when they go into their Vegito state, is like one of the coolest looking cards in this game. The new Gogeta, the new Vegito, both look fantastic. I'm so... Ugh. All right, let me SA20 these guys. Let me get them maxed out, and then let's see. Let's see what a Batara team can do. We now have them 150 out of 150, SA 20 out of 20, uh, plus 4,000 to HP attack and defense from, of course, the two additional dupes. And then I maxed out the other two, of course. Of course, I went bottom right, top left, and then I maxed out what I could do out of top right and bottom left. Um, and then let's just go ahead and do this, just because I'm gonna do this on my own. Looks so friggin' sick, honestly. These, these, I swear, I, I know I just said it, but these two cards are, are some of the coolest cards in this game. Anyway, so what I want to do is the same thing I did yesterday. Just quick, small, sort of team building aspect into this video. Obviously, these guys as the lead, I've already, I'm already ready to go into an event. Uh, and then this guy without question, then Vegito Blue, and then because he's such a good support unit, we've got to bring the tech Vegito. I really want to up that guy's essay and put some uh, actual orbs into him just because of his usability. And then to kind of round it off for me personally, we're going to do both of those guys. Now, honestly, this guy wouldn't be a bad option. Uh, he is rainbowed, but for the sake of it, and because he's the newer unit, I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, take the extreme strength one instead. Let's go ahead and do that. That is going to be our Patara team. Pretty ridiculous looking team. Both the fusion team and this are both Two of the stupidest teams in this game at this point. I am still a believer in Resurrected Warriors and SSJ3, but these teams are also pretty crazy too. Uh, let's see. So we do want to give key, but we don't. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do a rotation properly with um, I'm gonna do a rotation properly properly with the Goku Blacks, but but uh, one where probably it's not quite so proper and probably get them split up just because I don't. I don't want to get through this too terribly fast. I am doing the Gogeta event just because uh, I wanted to be able to take some decent amount of damage. I wanted to kind of see what this team could do. Also worth noting that this team is right now sitting at over 500,000 health, which I have never had a team be over 500,000 health. I think the most I've ever seen is probably around the Fusion team or Hybrid Saiyans, somewhere in there where it's like 440, 430 to 450, 460. They have never broke the 500,000 health mark. So that's definitely a first here. Um, okay, let's just see if we can postpone this one more round. We probably won't be able to, but let's try. Uh, okay, so these guys are going to have to get off at least one super attack. That's fine. I don't know why I didn't keep mine on rotation, but it, it it's, it's totally okay. Look at the defense. Oh, we're also getting the built-in dodge, of course, taking effect. All right, let's see. do some damage to me. Do some damage to me. Come on. All right, 50k, not too bad. Honestly, I may have to hop into a different event here in a sec. I may just, I may just steamroll this and hop into a different event. Let's see how this goes though, because yeah, this team is gonna be gross. All right, 30% chance to crit, not going to crit. Uh, oh, but they're gonna get additional. Watch them crit this time. Watch them crit this time. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, this team is, this team is so stupid. Both of these teams are so stupid. 
I'm ready to do a Fusion v. Batara uh, race here soon. But yeah, these, these teams are just are crazy. Okay, um, are we in a position at all? We are. Okay, so what if we... What if we do this? What if we just do this? Do that. Do that. And then do that. Awesome. Let's get our six turns out of the way. As you can tell, we healed completely because of the LR... Uh, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. And he's, he's going to show out. Of course, Tech Vegito Blue is going to show out pretty hard right now. We're still... Yeah, as I say, we should still get through this and not have to worry too much about taking them out. I don't think the six turns is going to be our problem. I think our issue here is going to be uh, the 50% health, but I could be wrong. We'll have to wait. We'll have to see here. Uh, don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. All right, he's not going to. All right, cool. Awesome. We're not doing bad here. We're not doing bad here at all. Okay, so uh, I want you to take that and then do that. Um, sure. Sure. And sure, let's take all that. You're going to get your super attack off anyway. Let's let them take it all. They should do some fair damage here, especially if they super attack the tech Vegito. Okay, they're not going to. They're not going to. Okay, let's see what happens. Don't crit. Oh wait, is this? No, this is the this is the friend one, so we can't crit because I rotated mine off. We will keep mine in main rotation here because we don't we don't want to get to the six turns and be below fifty percent HP and then not actually get that off. I swear this team. I just that's what I loved about yesterday too is like I was just trying my best to postpone the fight as much as possible, and the team is so good that even though I'm trying to work against the team. It is still just destroying. It's just, it's awesome. It's so awesome. All right. Ooh. Uh, cool. This is what we want. By the way, you'll notice that Goku and Vegeta don't link up so well with some of the units on the board prior to Awakening because they're missing like Fused Fighter. Mostly just missing Fused Fighter. But that does help when it comes to uh, that additional key and only needing like one or two orbs. All right, come on, come on, Vegito, don't don't go too crazy. I mean, he's gonna go a little crazy, but don't go too crazy. Look at that 1.5 million attack stat. Ah, this guy's gonna be gross. I need I need more dupes. I was really, really 1.7 million. I was really hoping that he would be on these banners when we saw what got announced, but it is it is what it is. Okay, sweet. Although I wish this wasn't the tech Vegito Blue. Although it still might do a fair amount. 105,000. Good, good, good. Okay, so we need to get down to below 250k, but what's great here is that that took a whole nother turn. Yo, depending on how we link this up, if we do it like this, okay, if we do it like that, we can get away. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, we want to, sure, we'll let, we'll let him get off a super attack. Um, we just don't, we don't want Vegito at the end to get off a super attack. That's pretty much all we care about not happening. And, oh, nope, I made it to where he's going to. Honestly, though, sitting here looking at this turn, probably, probably don't have to worry about it anyway because, honestly, the LR Goku and Vegeta are probably going to take out Super Go... Or not, yeah, no, this is the Super Gogeta stage. Probably going to take out the Super Gogeta stage anyway. <sighs> oh, they're not. Okay, sweet. You know what, though? Rosé is going to come back on next rotation and heal me up. But, if we start the turn off, I'm pretty sure the way, the order of things, it should still happen. It should still happen. Here, let, let's see. Are we going to, are we going to Patara? Yes! Alright, sick. Yeah, guys. Alright, awesome. This is perfect. We're starting it off at the end of this phase. This is absolutely perfect. This is what we wanted to happen. 100%. All right, Hilda's completely. Let's put you together. Uh, all right, we need to make sure 100% right now that we get what is that? We're getting get it plus. We're getting plus nine key right there. No matter what, we're getting off at least 18. Sweet. Okay. Um, just because I don't, I don't want, I don't want to finish this too quick. I want to try and get one more rotation with Vegito. Let's see if we can make it happen. We're about to see some counters. We're about to see his his 18 key plus. 2 point almost 9 million attack stat right now. One of the coolest super attacks in this game. They are killing it. They kind of sort of took 
Um, oh, getting off the additional, the 12 key, the 12 key version of his super attack as well. They, they, I, I like what they're doing. If you saw, what you, well, no, not if you saw, you saw what they did. Yo, a 1 million counter. I love, I love the friggin', um, the super attack sort of thing that it does that comes across. That looks sick with Vegito. But I love what they've done with Vegito Blue, the new tech Vegito Blue. I love what they've done with um, these these two new units, Vegito and Gogeta. They're just they're adding cool subtle effects to basically how these super attacks happen. Like this, just like the smoothness of it, and just like yes, him popping back up like that. Like the things they're doing with the super attacks now are, are so like next level compared to back in the day when you used to get a brand new unit be another Kamehameha wave or something like that. So that is so awesome. All right, it didn't matter. Literally, we just one turned, we just one turned Gogeta. That is, I mean, that's, that is the overall power of a Batara team. That's pretty much what happens. I mean, these guys are finishers. Vegito and Gogeta are absolutely finishers in this game. No question about it. That's the whole point for them to transform like that at the end. That's why it's meant to be six turns. That's why they fully heal you. They are meant to come out onto the field and absolutely finish whatever event you are doing. So anyways, guys, there you go. That is today's video. If you enjoyed it and you're new here, consider going down there, hitting that subscribe button, joining the hashtag NanoFam today, as well as consider slapping a like on today's video for another LR Awakening, the 10th LR here on the game for me to awaken, uh, 10th summonable LR, as well as a pretty solid showcase of that team. When, when you have a team that is trying to beat an event when you're trying to work against that team with not good optimal rotations at all, it's a pretty stupidly awesome team. So anyways, guys, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on Natogenic signing off, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.